Hey, what's up guys? So just got a couple optics in here recently. Figured I'd do another benchtop video for you guys. Um, I like to do these benchtop videos because a lot of the times after I get things installed and tore out of the box, it's kind of hard to go back to the box and show you guys what's in it, obviously. So I know a lot of you guys like to see exactly what's in this stuff um, when you're unboxing and everything that it comes with. So without keeping this too boring, I'm gonna do two in one. So I got a uh, primary arms, two and a half X uh, prism compact, and I have the three X version of this as well. I'm um, curious to see the weight difference between these two because I was going to throw this guy on my lightweight build just for kicks to play with it. So I think I might do this one instead. So we'll weigh those. Um, the other one I got here, um, I got a shipment here from Optics Planet, is the uh, Bushnell uh, Throwdown AR 1 to 4 by 24 mil. Um, and this is a 30 mil optic. Let's see here. I'm going to put this guy out here. I got a primary arms mount for it. So 30 mil tube on that one. Um, so let's, let's set the primary arms aside. You guys have seen a lot of primary arms. We'll leave the Bushnell first. Uh, and again, this is the throwdown. It has the lever. Um, I, this is my first time unboxing this. I haven't even touched this yet, so I have no idea what's in here. Instructions. Nobody needs those. Just kidding. If you guys get instructions and you're new to rifles, you should, for, with optics especially, you should absolutely read them. Um, there, a lot of times, especially with the PA stuff, they have really good instructions on the reticle and what all the, the subtensions and everything do. So if you are, you know, not familiar with zeroing an optic well, or you're just not super familiar with, you know, rifles in general, I would encourage you to at least scroll through these to get an idea of what your adjustments are at, you know, 100 yards or whatever they are. So um, this guy is the, uh, the mill version. Um, I'm familiar with both mill and MOA. I, I prefer MOA a little bit just because I'm uh, a dumb American, but um, mill is, uh, is, I'm familiar with mill as well, so it's not, it's a really a non-issue. Um, to be honest, right off the bat, and having never played with this guy, it's, it's actually pretty hefty. I'm really surprised how hefty it is. Um, let's go ahead and turn this guy on and get a quick weight. I took the caps off. It does come with caps, like a little kind of bikini cover with one strap, one elastic strap there. And she's coming in at one pound, 2.6 ounces, one pound, 2.6. So wow, I'm, I'm surprised it's that heavy. Um, see if I can roll you guys in a little bit of uh, uh, footage here from, you know, looking through the, uh, the optic, getting you guys a little bit of first person view. Um, and there is a, let me look it through here. It should be illuminated, assuming the battery is installed and it looks like it is. No, it looks like it is. I'll play with that later. Um, I'll get that installed and roll you guys in some video, but anxious to try this guy. Just flipping the lever out here. Um, looks like they just put like a little, oh yeah, they put a little O-ring on there. Um, they have a little groove in there, so that just sits in and then folds down and so it doesn't impact the, the optics. So, neat little design there. I'm curious how long that'll actually stay on under like hard use, but one to four back down, so cool. I'm excited to throw this guy on and see what it does. And again, see how good the, the, the BDC reticle is on this guy, because, um, it's a little different than the stuff I've used before, and it's actually kind of similar to the Vortex um, 1 to 6. I think this is a 1 to 6 that Strike Eagle. All right, put that aside. Um, let's dig out the Primary Arms 2.5X Compact. Again, same thing. I have not really unboxed this either. I don't think I have. Maybe I've opened it up to look at it. Um, same thing. Directions. Read those if you're not familiar with the ACSS or any other optic that you're buying. Um, lens cloth. That's a weird little lens cloth. Not a big deal. It's just kind of almost has like it, like it's um, woven or something. But um, it does come with caps that are not installed. You got to install them yourself. I think they were installed in the 3X version. Same thing. So front and rear. I'm not going to dig those out. But put this guy aside. And there is the two and half X compared to the three uh, X. So three X on top, two and a half X on bottom. Um, and yeah, the, the two and a half X is definitely much smaller. I'm surprised there. Let's uh, move the scale in here and weigh these two quick. See if you guys can even see the scale. I don't think you can, that's right. We'll do, we'll do it this way so you can actually see it. All right, the three X with caps is one pound, 0.6 ounces. So basically just over one pound, one pound, 0.6 ounces. Let me, um, let me pull the caps out so we can get an actual true apples to apples comparison. It's one pound 0.6 ounces on that one. And then the two and a half is 
15.7 ounces. Move it in here. 15.7. Um, so you're looking at what? Just um, around an ounce difference in weight. So the weight difference isn't that big, actually. I figure this one might be a little bit lighter, but I do like how how compact it is. So we'll get both these guys out at the range. Um, again, our our shooting property is kind of limited now because the crops are still in. So come like late October, uh, early November, we're gonna get out and start shooting again. And you know, usually when we're out doing that stuff, our we we have a max range of like I don't know a thousand plus yards. We haven't really done that recently, but um. You're looking at like, we generally go at least 500, so should be fun to play with. So I can get a little video here of the the optic for the two and a half X. Again, ACSS reticle, very similar to the uh, ACSS reticle on the three X. So yeah, if you guys got any questions on that stuff, um, just give me a holler, or put that down below. I'll put links to all the stuff in the description like usual. So if you have questions on any of the specific specs that I didn't really go into here, jump on their websites and check those out. Um, and other than that, anything else you can just put down in the comment section below. So uh, stay tuned, we'll have more videos on these guys shortly. Oh yeah, so one last thing I forgot to mention here is the cost of these two. Again, you can look down in the description below and prices are probably gonna vary depending on where you go, but uh, at Optics Planet, the Bushnell is uh, 249 and the PA 2.5X uh, is 199 at, um, at Primary Arms. So. I wouldn't compare these two apples to apples. They're they're basically completely different types of scopes. You got obviously a fixed two and a half versus a variable one to four. Uh, so again, I'm just doing this unboxing so you can kind of kill two birds with one stone here. This is definitely not meant to be a direct comparison. So got any questions, let me know.